David Bowie was hiding a lot. When people asked him intimate questions, he would refuse to answer. Sting has a song he sings don't stand so close to me and uh, I used to work with an artist and he used to think that he was able to hide from from everyone and he thought that he needed to hide one day I was talking to his son and his son said to me that when it comes to Jan Martin you just have to forget about hiding. Because Jan Martin is going to see you anyway. So this old artist, he really believed that he was able to to hide himself until he met me because and I made it clear to him that that I could see him uh, to see and to show is not too different abilities <clears throat> to see and to show is the same thing you show as much as you see and you see as much as you show and like David Gilmour said my inside is on my outside this means that because my inside is on my outside I am not able to hide if you have eyes to see you can see me and if you have eyes to see you see that I can see you <coughs> When I meet people that are incapable of seeing me, then I can make a description of me. Verbally to show myself. I can story tell I make a st I make up a story or an explanation or 
a description or a definition. Why do I do that? I do that because when I run into people that try to avoid being seen, they always have a tendency to ask questions. And because they ask questions, I answer the question. I don't ask questions myself. When I meet people, I, instead of asking questions, I tell something interesting that I'm working on or thinking about or struggling with. And to me, if I, if I talk, then I can make people talk. Uh, this old artist that I knew, he um, he could listen to me for half an hour without saying anything, and then he would talk for half an hour without me saying anything. And it was very, it was a very good interaction. And uh, instead of asking questions, I let people say what they want to say, and they can choose for themselves what they want to tell of me. I find it strange that to ask questions is a smart move because how can I ask the right question when I don't know what these people are going through? Uh, I don't know what they are thinking about or experiencing. My question I have to derive from my own life, my own experiences, my own thinking and my own emotions. I'm interested in listening to other people and I want to hear about what I don't know about them. And it's impossible for me to ask questions about subjects that I don't know about. So. John Martin has a song, he sings, if you don't have anything to say, then I can't talk to you. It's just the way 
the wind blows, it's just the way of the world. That statement in his song, I always was puzzled by because I I couldn't tell if it was true or not. To make people talk is a very peculiar <clears throat> Thing. It it seems to me that the more someone is hiding, the more he gets people to talk. The less you mirror someone, the more you, you get them to talk. People don't want to be mirrored, and most of all, they don't want to see negative things in the mirror. They don't want to be reminded of unwanted emotions that they are carrying around and they don't want to look look into difficulties that they don't want to face so if you mirror these things to people they are going to reject you Because they don't want to go into into it, they don't want to face it, and if they don't want to face what you mirror, then they don't want to face you. So you, they will not come and visit you because they don't want to look into into themselves into the mirror that you are to them. To heal you have to to face the problem. Mm. To heal you have to face it not to feed it, but to heal it. When I talk about my problems to people, my intention is to heal the problems. If the person I'm talking to is unable to to heal such things then they will reject the idea of looking at it because there is nothing they can do about it Focus on a problem, to heal it and to remove the problem and find a solution on a different level.
is what my life is all about.